so recently I've been in contact with a lot of blue collar workers um, in contrast with a lot of these like white collar types that I'm around especially in the university environment um, and like I've been noticing a lot of like glaring distinctions between these sort of two classes of people if you want to put it that way um, and I realized how underappreciated blue collar workers are in this culture um, people don't realize how much how literally our whole society is built on the backs of these hard-working men and women um, like you wouldn't even have your phone right now if it weren't for blue-collar workers because who tends to the machines in the factories that make these phones right you wouldn't have you wouldn't even have a home because who builds your home you wouldn't have electricity you wouldn't have plumbing you wouldn't have roads hell you wouldn't have cars you wouldn't have lights on the street you wouldn't have gas stations you wouldn't have food in the grocery stores because who would bring the food if there's no blue collar workers right like literally our whole infrastructure our whole way of life the reason we're able to live so comfortably is because of these competent blue collar workers right and i go to university and it's just like i notice the disparity in in this sort of mindset and this like separation of classes and that it's it's like implicitly so looked down upon um i notice how like a lot of these white collar types tend to be a lot more like entitled and very almost ungrateful um even though they're able to just sit in an office and type words on the keyboard and make money whereas every day these blue colors are busting their backs out on the fields out on the f out on the wherever um you know building skyscrapers doing electricity doing plumbing building roads right that's hard work like I sure as hell do not want to be working over eight hours a day fucking laboring my ass off. Um, and a lot of these white collars don't even realize how like their whole, that they cannot exist. They cannot even make money if it weren't for blue collars that undermine, that underpin our whole society. Right, because what kind of what kind of fucking chair is the white collar gonna sit on? What is, what keyboard is he gonna type on? Like, what mouse is he gonna use? Right, hell, what building? What kind of building is he even gonna be in if it weren't for blue collar workers? And so they're literally the basis of our whole society. And. Man, these guys are like, they're just schlepped on, dude. And what I appreciate about these people is that they're a lot more straightforward than I would say your typical white collar. Like, because the white collar person has had so much training that we call education that they they've almost become like robotized by all the intellectual regimenting right cuz you just learn learn shit from textbooks memorize concepts formulas and then you just repeat 
you just repeat what you read, what your professors told you, right? Um, that's how I've experienced the university system thus far. Like, honestly, there's not that much critical thinking. You just have to memorize what you're told. And then you get a good, really good grade if you can memorize it good enough. Um, and then you go on to graduate, and then you you regurgitate and regurgitate the same things you've been told. And I don't know, there's just something very inauthentic about that. Um, whereas you meet someone who's like a, not a white collar, and, you know, he might not work a very, he or she might not work a very socially prestigious job but they're real man like they're real people all right they're down to earth they're there's like straight up and honest they'll tell you what they think without a filter on them whereas like this sort of someone who's grown up in a white collar culture will will be very like very filtered very politically correct very it's almost like They've had their true selves slowly plucked out of them over time until they get to the point where there's they're just this sort of formulated machine that regurgitates knowledge and and you just just doesn't have that human quality um I'm obviously generalizing here. But this is something that I've, I've noticed, uh, like the disparity between the the sort of white collar crowd and incubator institutions and then the universities and stuff that create these these white collar folks. And then on the other hand, these people who don't go to university, who stick to, you know, whatever it is, whether it's working in the grocery store or going to construction, right, doing these non non-socially accepted things that this crowd is doing right these people i find have been the most even though they're the least book they're the least educated on paper but i find that these people have so much more a capacity for for using their intuition um and and emotional and eq right whereas these people are they're street smart these people are book smart and what i notice is that these the book smart people tend to become really reliant on the books and that's all they can rely upon. So these people are like, almost like, <laughs> when when political situations get bad, these people will swallow up the propaganda. Like those, those, they'll just chew it up and swallow it up, right? I think that's what you see now with a lot of these left-leaning people swallowing up all this, you know, stuff you know the big the big uh corona right it's all this stuff right there's the people who are so stuck in the propaganda stuck in the game and then there's these other people who are these blue collars who tend to be street smart and so they're like fuck this i'm not listening to to you like i i have my own opinion and i'm gonna stand to it right and i just noticed this disparity um and it's almost like the more you become book smart the the less the less of yourself that you have it's like you lose your you give yourself away the more you give yourself to the books and to society and to expectations and to it's it's like you you can you become a conformist the more book smart you are because by definition being book smart is 
knowing is learning knowledge from people before you and and absorbing that knowledge without really questioning it right where street smart is sort of like you can't rely on anything right you can't rely on this person or that person cuz you like you can't trust them until you can until you can trust them right but it's based on your intuition and your own your own particularized judgment about the world and of things and not by what you've been told how the world is and how things should be and who people are and who you are right like the blue collar people i find they're street smart in the way that they don't they don't tolerate the bullshit the bullshit right they think for themselves and it's completely ironic because in the in the university in the white collar environment it's like this is where you're supposed to get educated and learn to critically think and you know become an individual to take your place in the world as an individual but i i find that it's the opposite that happens like the more you get into the university world like this is my experience is that like i find that you just become more and more conformist right to the point where you'll believe in any propaganda the government or or your institution tells you um yeah, I don't know. That was a that was a little rant, I guess. Um, it's just a disparity that I'm like. You could put different labels on these, right? Street smart, blue collar, and then book smart, white collar. You could put different labels on them. Um, but yeah, it's just an interesting thing i noticed i guess um yeah anyway that's it for this one um hope you found this discussion somewhat interesting and i'll see you in the next one peace